Okay, seven part A. So I think for for a question seven, which is like your first long question, this wasn't that easy. So we have f of x is this. Um, the line y equals mx minus nine meets the graph of f at exactly one point. So this is kind of the key to the question. Show that m equals four. How can we show that m equals four? Well, if they meet, if these, if the line meets the graph, the two functions meet, they must be equal at that point. The y value must be equal. So I can just equate the two functions. mx squared minus 2mx equals mx minus 9. Now you may say, okay, so what? What am I going to do? I can't find m because I have an x here. But that's why I say this is the key to the question, exactly one point. So here I have a quadratic equation that I need to solve and it has exactly one solution. Hopefully, guys, you can recognize that that is the discriminant. This is a discriminant question, and the discriminant equals zero because it's it's got exactly one solution. Um, write that down, guys, straight away somewhere because you get a mark for it. In fact, just for writing that and that, you've probably got two marks. Okay, now I need to get the discriminant, so I need to rearrange this. So I have m x squared minus 2mx, well, it's minus 2mx minus mx, so it's minus 3mx plus 9 equals 0. So a is m, b is negative 3m, and c is 9. The discriminant b squared minus 4ac is equal to b squared minus 3m squared, don't forget your bracket, minus 4a is, is m and c is 9. Don't forget to square the 3 and the negative, so that becomes 9m squared minus 4 times 9 is 36, 36m. As we said, equals zero, so 9m squared minus 36m equals zero. At this point, you could divide by nine. I think that's probably the best thing to do. m squared minus 4m equals zero. I'm dividing everything by nine, including the zero. Put zero to divide by nine is zero. And now I can take out the m. So I have m minus four equals zero m is equal to 0, m is equal to 0, um, or m minus 4 equals 0, which means m is equal to 4. Now, m can't be, and it's important you write this, guys, because you could say, well, m could be 0 or 4. Well, if it was 0, um, then I'd have f of x equals 0 and y is equal to 0 minus 9 which is negative 9 so that they actually wouldn't meet there um, therefore so I'm going to write therefore m equals 4 as if m equals 0 and um, they don't are um, yeah f of x and g of x, sorry, it's not g of x, and the line, f of x and the line don't intersect. So it's important to write that last bit, guys, just for the for the last mark, because you got to say that m can't be 0. Okay, that's part A. I'll do part B in the next video.